Hi guys, here's your readings for the week. Um, I know I'm a day late, but I finally got them done. Um, a little bit different than of what I was doing. Uh, my throat just will not allow me to do that many videos. So I had to find another way. So I hope you guys are not disappointed. Go into each month and enjoy, okay? So this is the Zodiac readings for the week of May 9th to the 14th, okay? So yeah, so we missed a couple of dates, but don't worry, okay? Um, so yeah, so this is what I'll be doing from now on, okay? And hopefully get it posted Sundays, all right? Saturdays or Sundays. So anyway, thank you for being here and your patience. And here we go. This is the reading for Aries. So if you are an Aries, um, this is your reading, okay? So here we go. So we're going to do it a little bit different than what I was doing. Um, we're going to do um, what's going on at work, okay? Um, love, the unexpected, what you are doing, you know, what you need to do, and then we're going to do the outcome, okay? So, yes, yeah, so I found this spread, and I thought, this is going to be good for this. It gives you a little bit of everything, okay? So, yeah, so we're going to clarify all these after. But right now, what we have first is work, okay? So work, you've got you've got the uh, Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like work is going, oh, let me just change the, um, the view. There we go. So work is going very, very good, okay? I feel like now is the time to try something new. Now is the time to ask for a raise. Now is the time to look, you know, if you're looking for a different opportunity, it's a very good time. So whether it's um, paid work, volunteer, whatever it is, now is a perfect time for you to do whatever it is that you want to do with that, okay? So I just feel like it can really um expand and go places for you all right this is a really good opportunity and then uh then we have um what's going on in your love life okay so in your love life i have the king of wands so very a lot of passion in your love life right now okay so if you are not in a relationship i feel that there will be someone coming into your life uh very very soon and I feel like now is the perfect time to start manifesting that, okay? Take all that passion you find. Write down what your passions are and what you want in a relationship, okay? Now, that's for you, you uh, Aries, that do not have a relationship right now. If you do have a relationship, then make sure that you are going the extra mile to bring some passion into that relationship. How can you get creative and how can you get that energy going, okay? So don't be afraid to do that. Every relationship needs that, all right? So there you go, my dear, on that. And then we have uh, the unexpected. So I feel like the unexpected is everything calm at home this week, okay? So I don't feel like there's a lot of crap happening i feel like things are calm going very well things are just gonna fall into place this week i don't see a lot of upset at home okay and then we have um the uh your role so what should you be doing you know this is telling me we've got the ace of wands reversed so it would be really really good to really pay attention to the subtle nuances um, any kind of opportunity that you see, um, you may have to watch out carefully for these opportunities, but keep your eyes and ear open, okay? Because they're going to come. And I feel like sometimes they're just overlooked or not seen as opportunities. So keep things open, okay? And then the outcome, what I'm getting for the outcome is four cups. So 
I feel the outcome is good. There's a lot of emotion attached to the outcome. There's a lot that you want to do, Aries. There's a lot that you want to feel like it's all coming together and working. Make sure that you are taking, you know, taking your, um, uh, what can I say? Make sure you're not procrastinating, okay? Um, don't get um, overwhelmed with um, all the details or not enough details, okay? So make sure you're just being you and not allowing, you know, the um, the common kind of daily tasks interrupt, okay? So even though we have to keep up with the daily tasks, we still need to make room for what's new, okay? So I guess that's the outcome there, okay? So now we're going to clarify these, okay? So let's see what happens here. <clears throat> so we're going to clarify work. So we have the Knight of Wands. So very, very good, okay? This is looking at opportunities. This is looking at you charging ahead. Like I said, now is the time, right, for you to do this? keep going. It's very, very good. It's very powerful. It's very strong. Okay. I will keep going at this. I wouldn't let just anything stop me. You have a lot of um, skills that you need to promote. There's things that you can do to make your yourself feel more alive, feel more, you know, if you're struggling in your business, you know, work on your community. You know what I mean? Things like that. It's going to make a big, big difference, okay? So that is work. So then we're going to go to uh, love. So as far as love goes, again, there's lots of passion there. We've got the four of pentacles. You want to make sure you're trying to make things happen, not just thinking about how beautiful it'll be or how lovely it could be and sitting there thinking and hoping that it comes. You've got to do the action to make it happen. And then I feel it will. There's stability here, okay? So there's moving forward. Don't be afraid to spend a little bit of money, you know, um, on your special person and, you know, um, or on a date that you want to go on together, or whatever it is, right? Don't be afraid to do that, all right? You deserve it. They deserve it. It's all very, very good, okay? So work towards that. It'll work out very, very well, all right? And then we're going to look at unexpected. So like I said, unexpected was, you know, um, the Ten of Cups where everything was just going very, very well. And then, you know, and then... You know, we have the um, uh, the devil coming in and making things a little bit more difficult, okay? So I just feel like that is causing some problems along the way. And you really need to be careful there that you're not allowing this to happen. You know, don't get let greed get in the way or don't let, you know, things that you think are impossible get in the way, okay? Because I feel like that's where you're going to get stuck. Okay, you've got to believe that all this good stuff can happen and you deserve it. Okay. And then we have what do we got next? What what you need to do? Okay. So we've got the Knight of Pentacles. So again, this is, you know, this is the opportunity that I don't want you to miss. This opportunity is coming by, I'm going to say a male, and I believe this male is going to bring it to you okay so it could be a, a text message it could be an email you know it could be face to face right but i do believe you know this person and i believe that it's going to be very very good <clears throat> you have to be aware though keep your options open like i said if you want to do something new um uh, i think it would be a really good time for you to do that this is a good time for you to take some risks, you know, go ahead and go forward. Okay, charge ahead. That's what you need to do. All right. And think about, you know, the practical things in life. How can you make whatever's unexpected popping up? How can you make that feel um, good? How can you make that work for you? Right. And I think you're going to do a good job. And then we have um, the outcome. So we've got the four cups there. 
And then we have the six of swords. So you want to make sure that, you know, you are going through this with a positive kind of mindset, because I feel like, you know, sometimes we think nothing's happening, nothing's happening, right? So we give up. You don't want to give up before the magic happens. So this is where you've got to push through, okay? Even though difficult things come up and everyday things happen, you've got to push through. And I think as you do that, you're going to be, you're going to be, you're going to experience great reward, okay? So just keep pushing through there. And then we're going to take um, an oracle card, um, spellcasters, and um, we're going to, I'm going to pull you an oracle card for your just kind of the whole theme for the week, okay? Just to um, give you a roundabout theme for the week. These are beautiful cards. Okay. All right. So it is strength, which makes a lot of sense, right? We talked about strength. We talked about you know, you making sure that you are looking after yourself and that, you know, you're 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 making you're not allowing everyday life get in the way, right? So the magical meaning behind strength is what I'll read to you. You're stronger than you realize, believe in yourself, determination will get the job done, your spiritual side is strong, strength emerges through forgiveness. So make sure you're not hanging on to things that no longer serve you, right? You can say here, uh, gratefully, I accept the magic of you, of protection to assist in all that I do. Lend me the courage, build power in me, assist my transcendence, so mote it be. So there you go, my dear. So that is your reading. So that is for Aries. Thank you very much, Aries. I hope you enjoy that. And now, for a minute. Okay, guys, this is your reading for Taurus. And I'm doing it a little bit different, Taurus, okay? So all you Tauruses, um, be patient. We're going to... Um, it's a little bit of a different spread. I hope you enjoy it and we will clarify, okay? So yeah, so the first one is work. How are you doing at work? Okay, we've got the high priestess and then, then we have love, okay? So high priestess, love, um, unexpected and um, what you should be doing and then the outcome, okay? So, yeah, so there we go. All righty, so let's have a look at this. So what I see here, basically, um, so the uh, for work, it's very, very good. We've got high priestess, okay? So whether you work at home or whether you work, you know, whether you're a homemaker, whether you're retired and you just do volunteer, whatever the case may be, okay? It's these, it's the jobs that you do where this comes in. All right. So we got the high priestess there. So trust your intuition when it comes to work. Trust your intuition when you're trying to get something done, when you need to do something or when something's being given to you and you've got to make a, a an impression and you've got to get it done. So yeah, I really feel like you can do a really good job of this and you just have to, um, yeah, work at it, you know, and work at it uh, smart. Um, make sure that you're trusting yourself, that you're moving forward, that you're listening to your gut when you're trying to make a decision about work stuff, okay? You have the answers. You just need to just trust those answers, okay? But you definitely have the answers, all right? So there you go, my dear. All right, so that is work. Now, love. So I feel for love. You know what? Love is good. All right. Even though we've got the Ace of Cups reversed, I still feel it's good. Um, the only thing is it's not exactly as much as you want. OK, so it might not be feeling as good as you want it to. I feel sometimes some of you uh, Tauruses need to ask for what you want. OK, P 
people are not mind readers. So you need to make sure you're asking for what you want if you have a partner, okay? If you don't have a partner, put yourself out there. It's not going to come and knock on your door. So you have to be willing to put yourself out there, right? And if you're just satisfied not having a relationship at all, that's wonderful. So love the people around you, right? So really, really, you know, put that effort in to show the people around you that you love them. You know, sometimes, you know, we forget to say it. We forget to tell people. We forget to show people, right? And, you know, every once in a while, everybody needs to know. So, yeah, so that's very important, okay? And then we're going to go to the unexpected. So the unexpected is the Knight of Cups reversed. So I believe that there's going to be emotions coming up in you this week that you didn't expect. And it may be to do to this love, okay? Starting to show people you love them, starting to put yourself out there for love, all that stuff. You're going to have a whole bunch of unexpected emotions. Maybe fear is going to crop up. Maybe, you know, all these, all these kind of emotions that you weren't expecting, okay? You can deal with it. You're strong. You will deal with this, okay? So just know that this is going to be okay. You're going to get through this just fine. So don't be too concerned. Just trust the process, okay? And then this is kind of what, what you need to be doing as well, okay? And this is at home. This is everything coming into balance. It's a little off balance. So maybe your work and love and all this kind of thing, you know, your spirituality and all that, you need to bring back into balance, okay? It's a little off balance. It's not terrible. It's not bad, but you may want to bring that back into balance, okay? I also see you expecting some money. So I think you are expecting some money. Um, if you are, um, if this is part of yours Taurus then I believe you will be getting that soon all right and then what I see for the outcome is the page of pentacles okay so I believe the outcome is going to be very positive I believe you're going to kind of everything's going to be solidified as far as how things are going everything practical is going to come to you in a message okay so either an email or phone call or something where you're going to feel, yeah, I got this. I accomplished this. I did this. So you're going to feel very, very accomplished. Okay. So I think that's wonderful. So let's clarify these. All right. So we'll clarify work first. So we have the seven of swords. So not everybody is in your corner, okay? I believe there are probably jealousies there. And I think you need to just keep your intuition strong. Know who you can trust and who you can't. If you're not sure, don't. And take some time to figure that out, okay? Because there are some people or someone who is not hoping for your best outcome. So, you know, just jealousies, uh, trying to live up to you or, you know, stuff like that, right? Um, may feel that you are, you know, getting ahead of them or something like that. So just be careful there and just watch who you trust, okay? Dot your I's, cross your T's. Really important this week, all right? Okay, so now we're going to look at your love life, okay? So again, you know, we see your love life here where you've got to start showing what you feel, right? You've got to start asking for what you want. And I feel that you're not doing that because you're afraid. You're afraid you're not going to get it. You're afraid that there's going to be met with conflict. It's going to be met with misunderstandings, okay? I think you still have to do it. And even though you don't want to stir things up and you don't want to, you know, if everything's fine, just leave it even though you're not feeling satisfied or you're not feeling that your needs are being met. Sometimes we just don't want to stir the pot, right? Well, I think you need to. And, you know, you may get some pushback, you know, and, you know, somebody being defensive. So what I'm going to tell you is to really approach this in a very um, 
um, thoughtful manner. Make sure you're not accusing and you're asking for what you need, okay? So that's the biggest thing. Use I statements, not you or me, you know, not you statements, right? So make sure you're using I statements there, okay? And now we're going to go on to the unexpected. So we have the Knight of Cups there, and then we get the Ace of Cups. So I think you're going to get love, okay? So I think you're going to receive more love than you know what to do with, really. You know, and I mean, that's that's a far cry. I don't think any of us receive more love than we know what to do with. Well, maybe some people, but <laughs> not me, that's for sure. So yeah, so you're going to receive a lot of love, okay? I think you're going to feel full. And I think you're going to be very happy that you were asked, you asked for what you wanted. You were willing to put yourself out there. OK, and I just believe that even if, you know, you don't get a relationship, you're going to you're going to receive and feel love from family and friends. OK, so just know that this is a really good week for you that way. OK, Taurus. And then we move on to your role. So what you need to be doing. All right. So we have the six of pentacles we had and now we've got the six of wands so i mean this is very good you know six is all about moving ahead right and they're all about um making progress and they're all about getting to a point where there is some victory there okay so you're on your way so you've made a victorious or a, a really poignant point and now it's time to move forward all right so this is your point and point. <laughs> That's kind of hard to say. But this is the point in the week where you're going to feel like, hey, I got this. You know, this is really good. I kind of won this battle, right? Or whatever it may be. So just keep, you know, keep moving forward. Don't get cocky and just keep moving forward, okay? And I think it's going to be wonderful. And then the whole outcome here, we have the Page of Pentacles reversed and we've got the Knight of Cups. And again, it's all about emotion, right? It's going to be a very emotional week for you. But I think overall, it's going to be a really, really good week. So I feel like you can trust your emotions. You can, you know, you can move forward, uh, be a little careful at work. But overall, you are going to feel like this could be a really positive week for you, okay? Especially emotionally. And I feel like you're going to have some wins practically as well, too. OK, so that is that. So now we're going to, I'm going to give you a um, sorry, I'm going to give you an Oracle card just to kind of conclude the reading and just see what the temperature of the reading this week is going to be. OK, so the overall kind of theme here. So we have financial health, okay? That's everything practical and some wins, right? So let's see what financial health says. Financial health. So uh, watch the entire, okay. <clears throat> um, here's a little, a, little, a little prayer kind of thing that you can say, okay? Gratefully, I accept the magic of you a protection to assist in all that I do. Lend me the courage, build power in me, assist my transcendence, so mote it be. So you could light a candle and you can burn it down and you can say something like that, okay? And then uh, the meaning of this financial health, stop your extravagance, so being careful with your finances. Seek professional advice, maybe a financial planner, Money owed is paid off, so I feel like you're making progress. Expect a windfall, so getting some money. And someone is indebted to you, so someone owes you. And have faith as your financial life heals. So, yeah, so things are going very, very well. And your finances are just getting better and better. And I feel like you can, you can actually count on that, you know. So it's not so, uh, you're not so worried. And I feel like you can count on it. So it's really good. So thank you very much, uh, Taurus. So let's just see here. So now we are going to move on to Gemini. 
Hi, Gemini's. How are you guys today? Um, we're doing this a little bit different. Uh, could not keep up at the pace of the other uh, way to do it, okay? So I'm combining this reading. Um, yeah, so we are doing them all at once. There's timestamps. And yeah, and I think that's the best way for me to do this. So a different kind of spread as well. Uh, there will be clarifying. Okay, so don't worry about that. So here we go, my dear. So we have, first of all, it's going to be about work. Okay, and we have the two of wands. Then your love life, which is the Ten of Cups, which is lovely so far, right? Then we have the unexpected. We got the Four of Cups. And then we have what you need to be doing. We have the Fool and the Outcome. We have the Seven of Cups. So let's, you know, dive into this and see what, what's here. So the Two of Wands for the work. So I feel like work is going very, very good for you. Um, I feel like there's an opportunity to work with someone very, very close and make some headway. So I feel like you're, you know, you're pushing ahead. Um, you're making some decisions on a project or, or a new thing that you want to do. Maybe there's an opportunity for you to do a part-time gig. There's something working with someone that is going to push you ahead. Okay, Gemini. And I just feel like it's very, very good. And I feel like you're just going to enjoy it, all right? And just look out and see what's there for you. And just, you know, look at the whole picture, all right? And I think you're going to be very, very pleased. So your love life. So basically, love this week is going to be fantastic. I feel like you feel warm and fuzzy inside, okay? Everything is going very, very good. So even if you're not in a relationship, the love of home, the love of family, the love of friends is super important to you this week, okay? Um, and if you are with somebody, I just feel like you can just make it feel fantastic, you know, and maybe you need to put a little bit more work into it, but it's absolutely wonderful. And I just feel like you're going through something very, very good, Gemini. And if you, you know, if you're having problems with someone that you love, I think this week would be a really good opportunity to have a good heart to heart and be able to build that again. Okay. So look at that. All right. And then we have the unexpected. So the unexpected, we've got the four cups. So, you know, things are kind of, you know, you're procrastinating, you're not really getting things done, maybe daydreaming a bit, maybe a little bit bored. You know, you want to make sure that you are making decisions and moving forward. Don't just let emotions rule you. Make sure you're finding out, what do I need to do? Where's your passion? Where's the excitement? Okay, bring that back into your life as well. Very, very important, all right, to make things work well. So, and then what you need to be doing as well to make everything work. And we've got the fool here, okay? So I really feel like, this is the energy of new beginnings. This is the energy of really, really, really taking a leap of faith. Whatever area of your life that you're looking at, whether it's work or love, you know, go ahead and do it, right? This is your week to do things like that. Don't be afraid. It's a new journey. Make sure you're looking at consequences before you act, but don't be so afraid of the consequences that you don't do anything. Now is the time to actually break that and take a chance, okay? And then I see the seven of um, cups is your outcome, okay? So the outcome here is, I love it. It's, I mean, you have lots of decisions to make. Um, sevens are, you know, contemplation, right? So you're always thinking about things, right? Don't let the thinking stop the doing. That's the only thing I get here, all right? You also have to do. But I do think that it's good to look at all your options, right? So whether you do sticky notes or lists or however you want to do it, do it. You do have lots of options. So don't feel like your options are closed. You have lots and lots of options there, okay? So now we're going to clarify. So we're going to clarify work. <clears throat> um, 
with the pool reversed, right? And we've got the pool here. So it's really important that you take a risk at work, that you see this as um, a new way to work, okay? Or a new project maybe is there that you could take advantage of to show who you are, to shine, okay? Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to take a risk. Don't be afraid to show who you are. Don't be afraid to make, you know, make a decision. You know, you can do this. You can do whatever you need to do as far as work goes. And that's even if you're an entrepreneur, you know, and you're trying to do things on your own or you want to start a business, go ahead and take that risk. OK, I think it's really, really good right now. You're working with a partner here and I feel it could be very, very successful. So love life, king of swords. So again, um, you know, it's all about intellect. It's all about communication. Make sure you're talking, okay? Make sure you're sharing, you're talking, you're bringing about that feeling of comfort, that feeling of homeness, so that feeling of everything is good, you know, that all is working out and is where it's supposed to be, okay? Whether you're in a relationship or not, this is very, very good. And if you are, you have to be talking. It's so important that you get the communication down so that you guys can make a future together be wonderful, okay? But that communication has to be there. So um, what you don't see or the unexpected, um, this is the nine of coins reversed. So I feel like there is things that you're going to do that is going to kind of bring some prosperity, okay? So I do see some abundance, some prosperity, not exactly what you'd like, but you're on your way. So this is kind of the beginning of it. Um, if you're, you know, if you've been working for a long time, maybe this is like, you know, maybe you don't have your savings wh where you want it to be or your retirement pension where you want it to be. And maybe you need to talk to somebody and top it up. Just little things like that, okay? Just these little things that we can do to kind of increase where our financial kind of things will be for us. So making sure you're on the right track, okay? And I think you are. You just need to just double check, okay? And I feel like you will feel better and you'll know for sure how that is all going, okay? And then your role here. So basically, I see that don't, don't sign any important papers, okay? I don't want to see you take a risk, you know, just sign something willy-nilly and not know what you're signing. Make sure you read everything you sign, okay? And if you're not feeling good or you're not feeling, you know, strong, don't sign, wait, okay? So nobody says you have to do it today. Don't make any purchases without checking things over, okay? Really important this week that you're a little cautious there on anything that you sign, all right? So just be careful there, all right? Just take your time with it and don't let it get away from you, all right? And then we have the outcome. So I feel by the end of the week, something's going to arise that's going to bring you a little bit of sadness, okay? A little disappointment, and I'm not sure what that is, but it's definitely a little disappointment here. And I'm going to pull another card just to clarify that, okay? And I do believe it's about it's about work. It's about doing something, okay? Things are not going to go as much as well as we had forecasted, right? There may be a bit of a delay. There may be something that moves that has to move ahead fast. And it's going to put some stress on you, some anxiety on you, okay? But I think you could do it. So there's nothing here that says you can't do it. I just think it's going to be a little bit more stressful for you than normal, okay? So that's what I see for you there. All righty. So now, dear, we're going to do an oracle card to get a feel, okay, for the whole week. And it's just kind of a nice little way to close the week. And these are spell casting oracle cards, okay? So I read a little thing that you can say, a little spell or whatever you want to call it. And then um, let me go from there. So 
we have dreams, okay? So dreams are your card. And then I'm going to read from the book and see what that is all about. So dreams. Hmm. You're getting there. Okay, dreams. So you want to kind of, if you want to light a candle and you want to say this or you can do whatever you want with it, okay? If you just want to just, just quote it in a prayer, whatever you want. Uh, gratefully, I accept the magic of you, of protection to assist in all that I do. Lend me the courage, build power in me. Assist my transcendence, so mote it be. The magical meaning is pay attention to your dreams, okay? This week. Go to bed with a clear conscience, so don't leave any negative stuff on your mind. Keep a dream journal. A deceased loved one visits in a dream. So this is kind of cool. This is very nice. And explore lucid dreams. So make sure you're writing down your dreams. And if you do have a really significant dream, make sure um, you're, you're looking at that afterwards and analyzing it a bit. That will be a lot of fun for you. So there we go, my dear. There is your reading. And this is that was for Gemini. And now we are going to go on um, to Cancer. Okay. All righty. So now we're are doing Cancer. Okay, guys, so all your cancers out there, I am doing this a little bit different. Um, I had to modify what I was doing, um, just a little bit more work than what I had planned on. Um, so yeah, so I'm modifying. Um, we're going to do it all together in one video, but you're all getting a good reading, okay? And um, what else do I want to say? A different spread. So we're using a different spread here. So let's see how it goes, okay? I hope you enjoy it. So this is for all you cancers out there. So we have work. So we have the seven of wands for work. Then we have love. We have the king of pentacles. Then we have the unexpected. And then we have your role. So what you need to be doing. And then we have the outcome, okay? So the seven of wands is um, about work. So I really feel like, you know, you, you know, there's, there's decisions that you're always needing to make for work and they're big decisions and that's okay. You know, um, you will get through it and you will get, you know, get past any of these obstacles. Okay. You just need to trust yourself. You need to question things. You need to, you know, do your research, all that kind of stuff. Okay. It'll all be all right. You just need to make sure that you're on top of things, okay? And then love. So we have the King of Pentacles here, okay? I feel love is very important to you. It gives you that grounding effect. It gives you that, you know, that that feeling that everything's going to be good. You know, just when someone can give you a hug and say, hey, honey, don't worry. It's all going to be okay. Sometimes we all need that, whether it's, you know, physically or whether it's just somebody you know, saying that, or, you know, it could even be a friend. It doesn't have to be a partner per se, right? It could be a friend or a parent or whatever, right? So, yeah, so I do believe that you will have that this week and that it will be significant and will give you some um, feeling of um, protection, feeling that you're not alone and feeling that you're very, very grounded when it comes to your love life, okay? So you're not going to feel that kind of lonely, hopeless kind of feeling, okay? And if you're with somebody, I feel like you're going to feel closer, okay? For whatever reason, it's going to make it feel a little bit closer for you, okay? And then we have, this one is uh, unexpected. So we've got the two of swords. So the two of swords is all about making a choice. You're going to have, you're going to come to a crossroads this week and you're going to have to make a decision, not an easy decision either. It will be a difficult decision, but I have faith in you. You will make this decision and, and it will work out good, right? So you just have to have a little bit of trust in yourself 
and just go ahead and make that decision, okay? And then I see we are at uh, what your role is for the rest of the week as well, okay? So we've got the Nine of Pentacles reversed. So I believe the Nine of Pentacles will tell you, you know, this is going to tell you that, you know, things are going well and there's prosperity and all that, but it is reversed. So I, it doesn't disqualify at all, but it just kind of, you're just not quite there yet, okay? You're almost there, where you can count on things coming in regularly and feeling all your finances are in order and that you're very, very close. Maybe you're close to reaching a financial goal. So whatever this is, I feel like it's very positive, it's financial, and it's going to bring you hope, okay? And I just think it's very, very good. Maybe you're close to paying off a loan or a mortgage or something like that, okay? Look forward to this, all right? Um, and then we've got um, uh, the outcome, okay? So we've got the King of Swords reversed is the outcome. So whatever's happening around you this week, it's really important that you communicate and you communicate about what you need, what you see, what you do, what you want, all of that stuff, okay? I think it would be a really good week for you to journal, for you to really, you know, get on top of what you're thinking, not so much how you're feeling, but what you think about things, okay? What you want to do next, goal setting, all those kinds of things for you this week would be very, very good, okay? So I feel like it's really, really awesome week for you to do that kind of stuff. Okay, so now we're going to clarify. So let's see here. Okay, Cancer, let's clarify here. So we're going to clarify work, okay? So we had the Seven of Wands, and now we've got the Nine of Wands reversed. So again, things not quite where they need to be, but on their way, okay? So again, make sure you're looking over your your obstacles, looking over your opportunities and making sure that you've got, you know, things in order and you've got, you know, scheduling would be really, really important, making sure you're on top of things, okay? So they don't get overwhelming, so they don't get too much for you, all right? So make sure you're keeping that very, very good, all right? So um, love life. So I feel like you need to just kind of let your love life kind of sit for this week, okay? You need to rest. You need to know, you know, it's, um, uh, we have the King of Pentacles here, and now we have the Four of Swords, right? So you need to just rest here, okay? You need to just know that you're going to be okay and that, you know, um, everything is all right. Um, you just need to just kind of slow down and just take time for you. So maybe this week is all about self-love and it would all be about taking care of you, okay? So taking care of the love you have um, for yourself, what you need for yourself, all that kind of stuff, okay? So I just feel like that is what's really important here. So make sure that you're taking care of yourself here, okay? So really important. The unexpected is that decision you have to come up with, right? And I believe it's it's around somebody that you really care about and you really love. So it's a very, very close decision to you, all right? So it's about either a family member or a loved one, close friend, this person you care an awful lot about, okay? They feel a little distant right now. So whatever this decision is, you are either, you know, inviting them back into your life or you're pushing them out of your life a little bit, right? Because they feel like, this is going to create distance or it's going to fix the distance. All right. So just, you know, pay attention to that moving forward. OK. And then we have, you know, what else you need to be doing this week. Right. So it's really important that you speak. You speak your mind. Um, I feel like you're going to get a message that's going to change a bunch of things this week. OK. So you're going to get a message. It's definitely going to be, you know, um, a written message. And it's going to change a lot of where you are and what you're doing. So I'm not sure what areas of your life it's going to change. But, 
going to change some areas of your life. I do believe it's about someone that has, you know, not been very nice in your favor. Okay, like not been very nice to you or be, or not been nice about you. Okay, so it could be gossip, could be anything like that. It's going to kind of sting a little bit. Okay. And I do believe that you just want to um, roll with the punches. All right. And if you have to stand up for yourself, but make sure you have all the um, um, all the information that you need, okay? Make sure that it's verified. Don't go accusing anybody, okay? That would be a big, big mistake. But that could tie into that decision you have to make, okay? So it feels like these are going to tie in together, all right? And then the outcome here, we've got the six of wands. So I feel like you will be on top of your game. So whatever happens all this week with you know, some of these little issues here, I believe you're going to come out on top, you're going to be victorious, you're going to have really good things to show, okay, so you're going to come a long way there, all right, so um, now we're going to look at, you know, I like to call this card, you know, either the all around feeling, you know, the self love for the week or you know, this is a card just for you, okay? So it's about self-love. Okay, Cancer, this is your card, okay? So we have family. So let's read what the what family means here. It's, okay, so we all know what family means. But there's a little mantra that you can say as well. You know, if you're if you're if you're casting a spell or if you just want to say it in a prayer, uh, you can say gratefully, I accept the magic of you of protection to assist in all that I do. Lend me the courage, build power in me, assist my transcendence. So mote it be. OK, and then we have this card means this family card. Um, turn to your family for support. A rift is being healed. A family gathering brings good news. Make allowances for family differences. And a new arrival is announced. Oh, so that's that's awesome. So it sounds like you're going to hear about somebody having a baby. So that's fantastic. So yeah, so there is your reading, my dear. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much for your patience. Um, yeah, so um, we will talk to you again soon. Okay, Cancer? Alrighty, so next up is Leo. Hello, Leo, how are you, my dear? I hope everybody is well, all you lovely Leos. So I'm doing things a little bit different. Um, the other one was just too much for me, okay? So I'm doing them a little bit different. And um, yeah, so I can get more lives done and stuff like that, right, for you guys? Or all I'd be doing is horoscopes, so yeah. And it's a different spread as well. So see how you like it, okay? So this is all about work. So your first card is about work. This is your work area, and we've got karma. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles this is your love life. And then we have the unexpected. We've got the Seven of Cups. And what you need to be doing right now. So what you need to add to everything. And then the outcome. Okay. So pretty simple, but very significant. Touches on everything, you know, a little bit here. So work is very good. Okay. Acknowledge what you've done. Really, really uh, give yourself a pat on the back. And don't be afraid to take credit, okay? Credit is, you know, is good uh, for a job well done. You should be taking credit for that, right? Don't be afraid to do that. You know, many of us are always afraid to give ourselves a pat on the back. And I think we need to do that more. So, um, so that is your work. So as far as love goes in your life, everything is going very, very well, okay? I feel like there's abundance there's prosperity so as far as love everything is going as it should 
even if you're not with somebody, think of your family, your friends, you know, focus on that, okay? And I feel like that will get you through the week, all right? And if you are with somebody, make sure you're enjoying them. Make sure that you're really, you know, making that point to spend the time. And um, and if you're not, make sure you're putting yourself out there to find somebody as well, right? And I feel like that could happen because this week is all about abundance. It's all about you getting what you need, okay? And what you deserve. So that's really important there, all right? So what I see, this is um, basically what's unexpected. So seven of cups, so lots of choices, okay? Lots of emotional kind of decisions this week. And I feel there's a little confusion. So don't let this overwhelm you. You don't want to get overwhelmed. So make sure you're organizing your thoughts and your feelings, okay? Acknowledge your feelings. Make sure you you know how you're feeling. Label them. You know what I mean? Like if you have to keep a list or sticky notes or whatever, do that, all right? I think it'll help you keep your feelings on track and help you in a big way to understand things, okay? And then... Um, uh, this is what you need. You also need to be doing um, for the whole thing, right? Um, so I believe that we've got the Knight of Pentacles here, okay? So go out and charge forward, all right? Go after what you want. If you have an idea for work, for money, to make money, to make things more comfortable, to um, buy a home, anything like that, this would be a really good week for you to look at your options and really sit down and figure out your finances and figure where you're going, okay? You might even be wanting to take a little bit of a risk this week, but I would make sure you check with a financial planner first, okay? Because I am not that, okay? That's a disclaimer here. <laughs> I'm not. This is entertainment, right? So, yeah. And then we have the Nine of Swords, okay? So, the Nine of Swords is the outcome. I feel like you're going to be a bit overwhelmed this week. So a little bit overwhelmed, maybe not sleeping as well as you could, maybe a little insomnia. We all go through that sometimes, okay? Try not to panic about it and try to figure out how to solve it. So maybe some meditation, you know, maybe not eating so late at night, maybe shutting, you know, electronics off, you know, Google and figure out a way that you can kind of help with trying to get some better sleep okay if it doesn't come if your sleep is not improving you know after this week i you know and it's still not improving i would see a doctor okay that's what i would do so now we're going to clarify everything all right so um so work we're going to clarify that with the eight of wands it's very good okay we've got karma with the eight of wands acknowledging things good and moving forward quickly something's going to happen it's just going to be bang you're either going to be given an extra project and said hey can you handle that leo go ahead and take it or you're going to be um moving in another direction an opportunity is going to come knock at your door whatever it is it's going to happen quick and you're going to have to act on it right away and i think it's very very good okay lots of passion there and then as far as your love life goes, and this is a weird card to come into your love life, but we have the eight of coins reversed, okay? So I just feel like everything is good. You know, everything is very, very good there. You know, um, you, you know, everything is going well, but it almost feels like a job right now. You need to get back to the emotions of a relationship and not so much of just making it work to move ahead. So make sure that you're getting back to the emotions. Also, if you decide to room with somebody, you're going to have a roommate, say whatever, right? And you, you know, you care about this person or whatever the case may be, make sure you're signing papers, okay? Because I feel like sometimes when we know people and we do things with them, you know, we do it on handshake. And I mean, that that used to stand, it doesn't anymore. And when people get upset, things happen. So Leo, make sure that you are doing everything by the book. And unfortunately, that kind of sucks when it comes to love. 
but that's the way, you know, it looks like you need to do this week. Okay. So yeah. So, you know, pull out those emotions. Don't be so practical this week. Don't look at everything in, as in black and white. Make sure you're looking at the gray area. Okay. And then the unexpected. So we have the seven of cups, you know, and then we have the four of coins reversed. So I feel like you're being a little stingy as far as money goes, okay? So what all these decisions that you're making, don't just make your decisions based on finances. You have to make your decisions based on more than that, okay? So make sure you're looking at, you know, how is this going to help me down the road? Um, maybe it's an investment in yourself, right? Maybe it's an education thing that you're going to do, a course or whatever, you know, is this going to benefit you? You need to look at these things long term. How do they benefit you? It can't be just about the money, okay? It has to be about the excitement, um, the passion that you can feel, the creativity that you're doing. You know, all these things combined, okay? And also, you know, what's going to work, right? And what's going to get you to where you want to go, okay? So think about that and don't be too, too stingy with your money, okay? And but don't overspend either. It's a fine line there, right? So just be careful there, okay? Um, and then we're going to look at, um, you know, uh, this is kind of you in the situation, all right? So we've got the Knight of Pentacles and the Chariot uh, reversed. So the Chariot reversed is, you know, you not being able to move forward as quick as you'd like to be, okay? Like to be moving. And I feel like, you know, with work, things are going very, very good, very, very quick, but everything else is kind of slowing down, right? And the only way that you're going to get them to go faster is to actually trust yourself and make some decisions, right? So get rid of this, you know, this kind of overwhelming feeling, okay? Once you deal with that, then this will, then you will be able to move forward um, uh, faster and um more sure yourself okay so it's all about having the confidence to move forward and taking you know um uh yeah taking by the horse by the reins right and going forward with it literally okay so then we have the outcome we have the nine of swords there and then we have the eight of cups reversed so again you know it's all about you know, allowing yourself to feel but not getting wrapped up in the feelings. And I think that's why you can't sleep because you've got so much on your mind, right? So you need to just write things down, you need to get those things out. You know, you can't be just surrounded by your emotions and just all that willy nilly. And then you not being able to, to sleep at night because all these things are bothering you empty out yourself, you know, journal, whatever you need to do, right? So when you wake up, if you can't sleep and you wake up in the middle of the night, yeah, go out and journal, write everything down that's bothering you, that's in your head, then try going back to bed, okay? So sometimes that works. So anyway, so we're going to have a look at this card here. This is an Oracle deck, the Spellcasters, and it's just a nice kind of way to end the reading. And I'll use a different deck every week. And uh, so this is about you, about love for yourself, right? Self-love. Okay, so your card this week is boundaries. Do you see that one? That's boundaries, okay? So it's a beautiful card. Now let's see what it means. Also in here, there's a little um, mantra that you can say to yourself or you can use it when you're when you uh, make a spell or anything like that right and it goes gratefully i accept the magic of you a protection to assist in all that i do lend me the courage build power in me assist my transcendence so mode it be very very cute okay so boundaries you like to relieve people of burdens rather than impose you're under no obligation Saying no empowers you. See your demands from another's point of view. And boundaries ensure respect and understanding. And that's really, really important, okay? So that's very, very important. Um, and yeah, everybody needs healthy boundaries, right? So it just keeps you, um, keeps you safe, for sure. Okay, so... 
there we go, my dear. That was your reading. I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope this new format works for you too, right? So anyway, so there we go. So now we're going to move on to Virgo. Hello, all my Virgos out there. How are you? So this is, of course, my sign um, as well. So I'm also interested in what these cards have to say this week. So let's have a look and see, okay? So we have, um, actually, here, work, okay? So work, we have the Seven of Cups. Then we have love, which is the Ten of Pentacles. Unexpected is the Nine of Swords. And then what are we going to do is the Seven of Wands. And then the outcome is the Nine of Pentacles reversed. Well, these cards are kind of, you know, a little bit more than what I was kind of hoping for, Virgo. They're, you know, oh, uh, yeah. Okay, let's go through this, okay? So work, I feel like uh, very much indecision, all right? So a lot of things up in the air, a lot of decisions. Yeah, just overwhelm, okay? I guess that's a better word. Uh, definitely overwhelm here, emotional overwhelm, okay? So make sure that you're going, you're getting organized. Try to get yourself back on track. Try to get organized. Do the things that you need to do, okay? Don't let the overwhelm overwhelm you. <laughs> Don't let all the tasks and all the all the stuff overwhelm you, okay? So I feel like the more you can kind of figure out what you want, narrow it down, you know, and then you can start making decisions and you can pri prioritize, okay? So that is really important, okay? If you have a look at everything, you put everything on sticky notes or whatever, and then prioritize, and then you know what you need to do next, okay? So that will really help you stay focused and not, not feel so out of sorts, okay? And then with your love life. So love life here, Ten of Pentacles, it's very, very good, okay? Everything's working very, very nicely. You know, I mean, if you look at this picture, everything is just beautiful, right? You know, but I just feel like, you know, you want to make sure that you are um, just not sitting there, letting everything just be good. You want to make sure that you are keeping that way. OK, you want to make sure you're doing the things to keep this that way. All right. And if you're not with anybody, look at this as a self-love week. OK, look at this as a week for you to grow for you. OK, make your home feel comfortable for you. Buy yourself some flowers, whatever it is you want to do right you know um you know go and work out an extra time you know at the at the gym whatever it is you want to do right you know buy some you know uh, something special for yourself whatever just make sure that you are taking care of yourself if you're not with somebody um that's really important okay now um what we have here this is the unexpected okay I feel like you're going to be hit with something midweek, you know, near the near close to the weekend. And I feel that, you know, there's a little, uh, not a little bit, but a lot of stress. OK. <clears throat> Anxiety, stress, not being able to sleep. OK. All that I feel comes into play. It's not good. It feels very, very strenuous and it feels like it's a lot. OK. So make sure you are taking care of yourself. Make sure you're doing what you need to do. And I really feel that, you know, you're going to be okay, but you need to take care of yourself, right? You need to find a way to ease that stress and find a way to sleep, okay? Meditation, all those things, you need to put them in play now, okay? And then this is about you. So I feel like you always feel like you have to protect yourself, especially around work, okay? You're very, very protective. You're very, very much like if somebody knows what I'm doing, they're going to steal my ideas or things like that, right? So, you know, you're very, maybe too secretive. Maybe you're um, 
too focused on what you want to do and not focused enough on getting tests done. Okay, so you want to make sure that you're you're all around completing things, okay, and not just waiting for things just to um, um, come to an end, okay? You have to actually implement that. And you have to make decisions along the way. Don't be afraid to make these decisions, okay? And then the outcome with that is very good. Okay, we've got the Nine of Pentacles, and even though it's reversed, it still means it's good. It's just not where it could be, okay? So you're well on your way. You're at the point of abundance. You're at the point of getting things completed. You're very, very close, okay? So just that little push, and I feel you're going to take that next step, and you're going to have things completed by the end of the week, okay? Or close to it. So we're going to clarify. So we're, we're clarifying the Seven of Cups here in work with the chariot reversed. So like I said, things not going as quick as you want them to, but that's because you're trying to make decisions. Make some decisions and then you'll be able to implement, you know, some actual action, okay? So actual moving forward, taking these things and making, making something happen with them, okay? So make up your mind. Um, get your list, prioritize, and then get moving, okay? That's what you need to do there. Love, oh, we've got the eight of cups reversed. You know, like sometimes we get so overwhelmed with people in our lives and they want, 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 right? That sometimes we have to back away a little bit. Now, I'm not saying walk away from people you love, but I am saying set boundaries, okay? I am saying, you know, put your hand up and say, whoa, that's enough right now. I need a break. Okay. So make sure you're taking care of you. And it's not always about somebody else. Okay. And if you're not in a relationship, maybe you need to just be more compassionate with yourself and say it's okay, you know, and take that break and just love you and just enjoy you. Okay. For now. And then you can start implementing something else come next week. Okay. And we'll see how that goes next week. But yeah, that's very important, okay? Unexpected, we have that lack of sleep and stress, okay? With the Nine of Swords, and now we have the Eight of eight of Coins reversed. So here, I see that I don't think you're sleeping because of money issues, okay? All this practical stuff, so stuff you want to buy, money issues, keeping up with the Joneses or Kardashians, whatever you want to say, right? You're always feeling like you're a step behind other people. You need to change that thought pattern, okay? You are not a step behind. Maybe, you, you, maybe you're not where you want to be yet, but you're going to get there. You just need to keep moving. Not everybody progresses at the same speed. And you're where you're supposed to be, okay? So there you are, my dear. So then... Um, you know, other things about you that you need to be aware of right now. Okay. So we've got the seven of wands here where, you know, I, you know, where you're protecting yourself, you know, just be careful because you still want to be able to move forward. Right. And then we have the four coins reversed. So I would be cautious about how much money you're spending. It's good to like, you know, it's okay to spend, but be a little thrifty as well. Okay. So, you know, you don't have to have, you know, all the best of everything, right? Sometimes, you know, you can um, you can go with something a little bit less, you know, maybe go thrifting, you know, go to a thrift store and get some stuff. That is awesome. I love thrifting. So, yeah, so that is an awesome thing to do as well and have fun with it, okay? So I don't want you to spend too much money, but I don't want you to hoard your money either, okay? Because that creates its own set of problems. So make sure you're keeping your money balanced, okay? That would be the key here, all right? And then the outcome here, we have the Nine of Pentacles, and now we have we have the Eight of Wands. Very, very good, okay? So everything coming to come into balance to, you know, everything coming, you know, to give you that abundance that you want, okay? And the Eight of Wands is going to speed that process up. So once you make up your mind, you know, you start implementing things, you figure out how to get some better sleep, 
you know, maybe you need to increase your spiritual practice, whatever that is, right? Things are going to start um, speeding up for you in a good way. And you're going to feel um, a lot stronger and you're going to feel like you're making progress. Okay. So now to close out your reading, we're going to use um, these Oracle cards. They're spell casting. And there's a little, a little blurb or prayer or, you know, that I'm going to read to you and then I'll read you the meaning of the card, okay? So your card is healing. It's a beautiful card and it's all about healing, okay? So, yes, yeah, so I'm going to read that for you. Um, so that little... Um, mantra or whatever you want to call it you can repeat to yourself you can um you can do a spell whatever you want with it right and then you can say gratefully i accept the magic of you a protection to assist in all that i do lend me the courage build power in me assist my transcendence so mode it be so the meaning of the healing is you're a natural healer so you know, take that power and use it on yourself. Heal using Reiki or crystals. Work with natural healing herbs. Your body craves detoxification. Make that overdue appointment. And it's time for acceptance. So very much about self-love, right? So this, this card is all about self-love. So you're on a healing journey. And I think it's really important that you use whatever you can to, you know, make that healing happen for you, okay? So, yeah, so it would be very, very important to do that. All righty, so thank you, Virgo. That was fun, and I enjoyed it as well. <laughs> I get a little insight to my week too, right? So now we're going to move on and... um we're going to do readings for Libra. So hello, all you Libras. Welcome. So your reading for, today, uh, for the rest of the week. So this is May 9th to the 14th. And I'm doing things a little bit different. Um, I had to adjust things. I couldn't keep up. And um, I'm doing things a little bit different, okay? So we have a new layout. I hope you enjoy it. And here we go. So this is about uh, your work, okay? So we have the high priestess in the work spot. Then we have your love life. We have the emperor. Then we have the unexpected, which is the queen of wands reversed. And then we have, you know, just kind of what you need to be doing, all right? The hanged man and the outcome. All right. So, um, yeah, this looks very, very good. OK, we've got the two of cups in the outcome spot. So your reading looks very, very wonderful so far. So let's let's go through this and then we'll clarify. OK, so we have the high priestess. So with the high priestess, I feel like. When it comes to work, you really need to trust yourself. OK, look for opportunities, look for new ways to show who you are to show the strength you have, to show what you know. Trust your inner gut when you're trying to make a decision, okay? If there's a decision that you need to make it work, or if you have to pick a way to a way to do something, listen to your gut. You know, you know what to do, okay, Libra? You absolutely know how to make things work for you at work. Trust yourself, okay? Very, very big. All right, so as far as your love life goes, we've got the emperor. And it looks like there's going to be a strong male presence in, in your life. Um, so this strong male presence, um, I feel like it is um, very, very strong. Okay. And I said that. Um, what else? But very um, powerful. Okay. Very um, meaningful. Um, definitely someone who is not afraid to show who they are. And is really very passionate, okay? A protector as well, um, a leader, that kind of person, okay? Um, now, this will either be your partner 
or it'll be someone that you love that is like a mentor to you okay so it could be either either so um, if you are with someone then i feel that they have a lot of these qualities even if they're not on the surface they're there and if you need them to to, to show those qualities they will you just need to ask them for what you need okay and if you are in a uh, are not in a relationship this person is coming for you okay and i feel they're coming soon so it's not going to it's going to be a matter of you know maybe a month but i just feel like you need to have your head screwed on right talk to somebody figure out what you want whatever that takes for you to get ready I think you need to do that okay deal with a past issue whatever it is there's someone coming within a month for you okay and that's uh for all you Virgos that are single all right or many of you anyway and then we have you know the unexpected right and we have the Queen of Wands reversed make sure you are not hiding your passion okay because you're passionate doesn't mean that you know it doesn't it's okay to be passionate it's okay to be creative it's okay to speak your mind and show that part of yourself and take a chance you know um maybe you've been afraid that people will think it's a silly idea or you know it doesn't really matter or what but it does and you have that strength you're strong you're you know you are um vocal you are um brave you know you're you're you you just shine you go out there and get what you want but i feel like that is being stifled a little bit right now you need to let that let that creativity and let that passion shine okay and then i feel that you know with the hanged man here again it you know your creativity is being stifled so is the rest of you okay i feel like things are just kind of going they're just kind of humdrum nothing really happening you want to change that around a little bit okay set some goals and start setting some small goals to meet the bigger goals okay so that's what i think you should do to pull yourself out of this kind of rut that you're in okay or this little stasis moment that you're in you want to start moving in a forward direction okay and the outcome once you do that start trusting your intuition show who you are ask for what you need and love and you know and get that moving um with the outcome we've got love you know we've got love for self we've got love for others around us we've got companionship we've got we've got really good um good feels here okay it all feels really really good you know by the end of the week and things coming together okay that's how i feel so let's um let's clarify this week okay so start off with work what the high priestess we have the seven of wands so again not trusting yourself okay not listening to your intuition being a little confused as to where you want to go okay so make sure you know what you need for work and know what you need to do and trust yourself to make those decisions okay and i feel like you've got it you just need to just let it happen okay just be yourself you know try not to be who you're not okay you don't have to fit into a mold you know what i mean you can be you all right and then as far as love goes with the emperor we've got the seven of cups so we see a lot of sevens here right so sevens about contemplation so a lot of thinking on your mind and this is about emotional stuff okay so you're when it comes to love you're always thinking how could it work what am I missing? Why am I not feeling love for my partner? Why don't I have a partner? All these things, okay? You know, get things in kind of um, in order, okay? Try to write down your feelings so you can let some of this go. If you have things that you want to do, you know, with a relationship or because you don't have a relationship, write them down and then figure out how to, how to task them right in what order um and what priority right so make sure you're doing that and i feel like they'll come together you need to trust yourself as well even in your love life okay and then the unexpected we have the queen of wands reversed and we've got the nine of pentacles reversed 
So worry that you're not going to have the abundance you need. You will. You will definitely have that abundance. You just need to trust in the process, okay? You can turn this the other way around by trusting yourself, you know, and allowing the decisions to work for you and not trying to um, make things happen. Just plan for things to happen. And they will happen because you're planning it. You know what I mean? You're not trying to force it. You're planning it and it's going to seed, okay? And then the seed is going to turn into a plant. It's going to grow, all right? So that's what you need to do here, okay? Everything's going to turn out really, really well. Um, and then with the hanged man and kind of where you are and what you need to be doing, we end up with the Ten of Pentacles, which is abundance and everything going very, very well, right? So um, I feel like once you start getting moving, and you start letting things kind of happen and, you know, setting these plans in place and moving forward. Things are going to go very, very well for you. You're going to feel really, really good. All right. And then the outcome with the two of cups, you have the nine of swords. So I feel like the outcome causes you a lot of stress, right? Even if it's good, you tend to really, really stress about it. So you know, you're almost, you almost sabotage things. You could sabotage things, right? By thinking too much, not getting the sleep, not being restful. You know, you could end up sabotaging what you want. So just be careful there, okay? Things are good because you deserve it. And the more you trust that, the more you believe it, the more it's going to happen for you, okay? So now, um, Libra. These are uh, Oracle cards. And we're going to close out the reading in this. It's kind of a self-love kind of, you know, where you're at on the card, okay? So let's just get an overall feeling of the reading and, you know, focus on the self-love portion, okay? Yeah. So your card is... Career, okay? So career is very, very important to you, all right? I think it makes a big difference in your life. And I feel that that, you know, um, you might put, be putting too much pay, too much emphasis in, on career and not enough on you, okay? So just be careful there. So um, also there is a prayer here or a mantra or a spell. Whatever you want to do, you can use it um, however you want. And it's just really nice way to set an intention. So gratefully, I accept the magic of you, a protection to assist in all that I do. Lend me the courage, build power in me, assist my transcendent, so mote it be. Okay. And then for the career, a new career beckons. So this is saying you're going to get a new career. Okay. Promotion is on the cards. Maybe it's a promotion. A dismissal is a blessing in disguise. So if you lost a job, it would be a blessing in disguise. So don't worry about that, right? You're being called into service. So maybe you're getting this deep kind of desire to do something. Follow your intuition, right? You're being called into service. Follow your heart. You're fully supported. So that's a wonderful. And it's nice to know that, you know, that you have the universe behind you and that they are supporting you in your choices, right? So that's awesome. That's wonderful to know. So there's your reading, uh, Libra. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, yeah, I hope, uh, I hope you have a wonderful week. And we will be talking to you very, very soon. Um, blessings, my dear. Okay, so now we are moving on to Scorpio. Hi, Scorpios. <laughs> How are you guys? Um, let's see here. I hope everybody is good. Uh, let's see what I can. Um, so I just wanted to say I'm doing things a little bit different. Um, as you notice, I put everybody, all the signs in one video. Um, and I've done, um, I've changed the reading. Okay, so the layout. I found this um, spread and I like it, you know, it just kind of gives a real little, uh, nice little um, 
overview of everything for the week, okay? And I do clarify, so we'll put down the first set cards, and then we use another deck to clarify, okay, guys? So I hope you enjoy this, um, and yeah, we'll go from there, okay? First card is your career, so King of Wands reversed, all right? And then we have love, so we've got the King of Cups in the love spot. Then we have the unexpected, which is the Nine of Cups reversed. And then we have the Two of Swords, which is, you know, what you need to be doing kind of thing, all right? So kind of your input. And then we have the Hanged Man as the outcome, okay? So this is very, a uh, little bit different here. So we have the King of Wands reversed for work. So I feel like you're not living up to your potential, okay? So either you're stuck and you're not sure what to be doing for a career, or you feel like your career is at a dead end, or you feel like you're just not doing what you love to do. So it could be any of those, okay, Scorpio? Um, you know, sometimes we have to do things that we we don't necessarily like to do because we have to survive, right? We need money to survive. Um, if that's the case for you, I would suggest you figure out what are you passionate about and do it on the side, you know, make sure you have a hobby that you're passionate about. You know, we'll look when we clarify that more meaning in there. But right now, yeah, that's what I'm saying right now. Okay. And then the King of Cups reverse for love. So I feel like, you know, there's lots of love around you. Um, definitely lots of love around you, but you don't always feel it, okay? I feel like you you feel it's kind of um, misguided or misunderstood or not being heard, those kinds of things. I do think you're loved, and this can be romantic or not romantic. I do think you're loved, and I do believe there's love there for you in a romantic way as well as in a non-romantic way, right? Like family and friends. But I also believe that this is, speaks volumes about how you approach love, okay? You approach love very much, you know, with feeling of lack, you know, that you're not getting enough or you don't, you know, you're worried that you're not lovable. And I really think you need to change that, that viewpoint, okay? I think that viewpoint is really not good for you all right so the um uh, uh the next thing is uh the unexpected okay so we've got the nine of cups reversed so that again is all about these mixed emotions all right and the mixed emotions are coming up and they're just not settled they're there they're just not settled okay so everything should be good everything can be good you have to believe in it and you have to make it work, okay? So that's really important. And then we have, you know, where you stand kind of thing, what you're doing, what you need to do. And this is the Two of Swords. So something you're not seeing, um, really pay attention and you're gonna come to a crossroads, okay? You're gonna realize that there's a decision you need to make. It's not easy, it is a tough decision. But once you make it, you're going to have freedom there, okay? So we will check with the other card with clarifying and see if we can find out what this is a little bit more about, okay? And then the outcome, I feel like things are just not moving ahead quick enough, okay? I feel like you feel like, <laughs> I feel like you feel like, <laughs> uh, you know, that, that you're just kind of stuck. You're just not moving in a forward direction. And we'll see what that means as well, okay? You need a lot of clarifying on this on this uh, spread. So, yeah, this one is really, this reading's a little bit, you know, stuck kind of reading, you know? Just, just not moving in a good direction. It's not bad, but you're just not positive about your path, right? So let's clarify with the Seven of Wands for work. So again, I see there's lots of decisions here, okay? I feel like you're not sure where you're headed, what you're doing, what you need to do. You don't have to protect yourself as much as you think you do. And you're you're right there kind of 
you know, being very sure that nobody is going to interfere or hurt you, right? So, and this goes, I mean, about work, okay? No one's going to take anything away from you. You know, let, let go of your guard a little bit. Let your passion shine. Show your passion, okay? Show what you love. Show your passion. Start doing something to bring out that passion in you, and you're going to feel a whole lot better, okay? And then we have the King of Cups reversed in love, and we have the Ten of Pentacles. That is a fantastic card. And I feel like allowing yourself to love, allowing yourself to be loved, and knowing that you you deserve love, you will have it, and you will have it in abundance. So I see happiness, abundance for you. I see everything coming very, very good for you in love. You just need to allow it to happen, okay? And then, um, you know, what you don't expect, we've got the Nine of Cups reversed, and we've got the Nine of Swords. So again, you know, the, the lack of love for yourself, the lack of love that you feel moving forward, it's there, but it's really, it's a little hidden right now, right? It's not full force. And then you get the nine of swords, which is going to add to that problem due to not being able to sleep. And I think, you know, that restlessness, that stress that you feel, you know, the anxiety, make sure that you are looking after yourself first, love yourself first, okay? So all this stress and everything that you're feeling, write it all out, get it all out of you and figure out what it is. If you have to go for a drive and, you know, close all the windows and, you know, go somewhere private and just scream your head off in the car, whatever you have to do to release that stress, right? And then, then allow yourself, you know, that, that moment to be loved and to love yourself and feel that in that moment, right? And then maybe do some meditation, whatever, get you back on track, back sleeping. Sleep is very important. It's restorative, right? So you need to sleep. So make sure that you're doing that. Okay, my dear. And then we have, you know, the other things that you need to do. And this right here, I said, you're going to have to be making a decision and a tough decision. Okay. And I believe it's about everything practical. So I don't think it's about work, though. I think it's about everything else. So I think it's about money. I think it's about, well, not about love either, right? But more about money, more about your home, more about what are you content with? Are you content? So maybe you need to figure out a way to build that contentment into your life. You know, what do you need to do to feel more content? That's what I think you need to kind of figure out, okay? How do you make your life okay just the way it is? You know, trying to accept what is, right? Instead of having to have everything perfect. So the outcome here, we've got the hanged man where things are not moving ahead at all. And then we've got the seven of cups. Well, things are not moving ahead at all because everything is kind of confusing, okay? Overwhelmness emotionally. So you've got all different ideas and different things happening and all this emotion all over the place. You need to kind of structure it. You need to get it out. You need to, you know, put it in some kind of order and then you need to start checking it off your list, right? So that you can feel content. You can feel you're moving forward and you can feel you've got some things happening in your life that are adding some purpose for you. Okay. So, um, so now uh, we are going to use the spell casting oracle cards. And I'm going to pull a card just to kind of uh, balance out your reading. And this is generally about self-love and stuff like that, right? So let's just give you a little bit of a, just a closing out, okay? So let's see what card you get. Oh, nice. Prosperity. Beautiful card, eh? So this is prosperity. So let's read in the book what prosperity is because I don't know these oracle cards, right? So basically, I'm gonna I'm gonna read this little um, mantra, prayer, spell, whatever you want. Use it however you want. Okay. Uh, grateful, gratefully, I accept the magic of you, of protection to assist in all that I do. Lend me the courage, build power in me. Assist my transcendence, so mote it be. So 
Prosperity is stop focusing on money. You'll be supplied with what you need. Be careful what you wish for. The lucrative deal is on offer. Okay, so there's an offer here for you somewhere. Okay, and this might be very good. I think it's, yeah, I think it's, I think it's very good. Okay, and then understand the law of attraction. So it looks to me like, you know, the, the offer is going to be in love, right? So that's what it looks to me like. It's very good. Excellent reading. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, so uh, we will see you again soon. Uh, bright blessings, my dear. Take care. And talk to you soon. Okay. Bye for now, Scorpio. Okay, so now we're doing a reading for Sagittarius. Welcome all you Sagittarians. Um, <laughs> I think that's how you say that. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to do a reading for you guys. Now I'm doing things different. The other way was just a little overwhelming for me right now. And um, so we're going to do it this way, okay? So yeah, so I hope you enjoy it. We've got a new spread that I'm working with and I just love it. So I think it's going to work out really good for these weekly reads, okay? So here we go, my dear. So this is work. We got the high priestess for work. Then we have love, which is the two of cups. Then we have the unexpected, the emperor. And then we have what you need to be doing kind of thing, right? The queen of wands reversed. And the outcome, okay? And we have the tower and the outcome. All right. So let's talk about these and then we'll clarify, okay? So what I see basically with work is trust yourself. It's really important that you're trusting your intuition, that you're, you know, you're doing the things that you need to do for you. You're not allowing other people or other things to interrupt and really you know, wrecking havoc, right? You're not allowing that to happen. So I think it's very, very good. I think you're doing the right thing. And I think you're going to be just fine. All right. So I feel like work is good. I don't I just trust yourself. And when you're making decisions, listen to your intuition, you're going to be fine there. Okay. Now love, love also looks very, very good. Okay. I see love as a new new love coming, or if you are in a relationship for for you Sagittarians that are in a relationship, I feel like you're going to feel that bond again. You're going to bring that bond closer. If you're not in a relationship, new love coming for you. It's really, really nice. Okay. This card is beautiful and it's just very, very nice. Okay. Um, it can also mean loving yourself and your family, your friends. All of that, right? But I do believe it's more romantic love. I just have that feeling, right? That this is definitely about romantic love. So make sure that you are making yourself uh, open for it. Um, if you are in a relationship, make yourself, you know, listen, right? Pay attention to what your partner needs and says. Sometimes we have to read between the lines a little bit. And I think that helps, okay? So um, what you're not expecting, we've got the emperor. So I see like there is um, somebody important, someone of importance. So a mentor, a professional of some kind is going to be entering your life this week, okay? And is going to add something, some value, some knowledge, something like that. We will clarify that with the next card. But this person is very, very important and is going to definitely add some value to your life, okay? So we'll have a look, whether it's a doctor, a lawyer, um, whether it's a mentor, whether it's a, a guide, whoever this is, okay? We'll have a look, teacher, whatever, okay? Um, and then the Queen of Wands reversed um, in what you need to be doing. And, you know, you're kind of stopping yourself from seeing what's right in front of you, okay? So you need to be acutely aware, aware of your intuition, you know, aware of the people around you, 
allow your passion to soar. You're almost afraid to show who you really are in fear that you won't be accepted, okay? Allow that bright, beautiful self of you or you to come out, you know, and allow that to be part of what you are and who you are, okay? And then the outcome, we have the tower. So by the end of the week, something's going to come off the rails, okay? Now, I don't know what it is. Hopefully, it gives us more, more details when we do the clarifying. But that one, yeah, that is disturbing. And like I said, things are going to, something's going to come off the rails at the end of the week. So we will, we will clarify um, and see. Uh, because yeah, I don't, I don't particularly like that. Okay. But I never lie to you guys. I always tell you guys exactly what I see. And I don't sugarcoat. Okay. So here we go, Sagittarius. Okay, so work. Work is good, okay? Trust your intuition, new things coming, setting some new goals, finishing some projects. Let your guard down a little bit. You're almost done, okay? You don't have to be so protective, all right? Things are going to close out really good. I feel like you're on to something new very, very soon, okay? Allow that to happen. Don't be afraid, all right? Um, but follow your intuition. So if you've got something, you know, on your mind that you want to try, you want to change jobs, you want to do something, you know, uh, as a hobby, allow yourself to do it, okay? Don't don't be afraid of that. Uh, you can do many things. And we're, we're very multifaceted, you know, as humans. And you can do many things, okay? And I feel that you are very creative, very bright, and just utilize that, all right? And then we have, in your, in your love, we have the two of cups here. Clarify that with the six of pentacles reversed, okay? So I think that love is getting serious, all right? So if you meet somebody soon, it is going to progress quite quickly, okay? If you're already kind of seeing somebody, it's going to start making it feel like, hmm, maybe I should introduce them to the family. Now, if you're already with somebody, I feel like maybe you guys are thinking about starting a family, okay? And if you've been with somebody for a while and you have your family, I just feel you think it's very, very content, okay? It's very good. It's very content. You don't have to prove anything to anybody about your relationship, okay? It's standing good the way it is, okay? It's very, very strong the way it is. So, yes, yeah, so this emperor that we were talking about, you know, this person that comes into your life, right? Um, so, you know, this is about the unexpected, right? You're not expecting this person. So let's see what that's all about. We've got the page of pentacles reversed. So this is a younger person, um, but someone very practical. So someone, you know, I'm thinking along the line, something to do with money, maybe, or, or a mortgage, so either a mortgage specialist, a banker, um, a financial planner, somebody like that will really, really help you, okay? So it has something to do with money. It has something to do with making you feel comfortable with what you have. Maybe you need to be planning your retirement. Maybe something, okay? So take a look, you know, feel good about what's around you and know that you're right on track, okay? So and just get these people to just make sure and make sure that you're going in the right direction in all aspects, okay? So there you go, my dear. And then this is, you know, other things you need to be doing or looking at right now. And we have the high priestess. So again, we've got the high priestess here when it comes to work. Well, the high priestess is really important in all your life, okay? And this is just emphasizing that that you really need to trust yourself. You're highly, highly intuitive. You could probably do what I do. Many of you could do what I do, okay? Um, or other healing modalities, okay? So you want to make sure that you are being true to yourself. Follow your passions. Do what you like. Um, I just feel like this is wonderful, right? So just follow your passion, okay? And be true to yourself. 
Now the outcome part of the tower, I don't like that at all, okay? Um, let's just see what clarifies that. So we do have the four of pentacles. So, you know, the four of pentacles is all about, you know, uh, procrastination, being bored, all these kinds of things. And to me, this is like, be careful what you wish for, because you just might get it. You know, sometimes we, we are hoping for something so bad. And then when we get it, we're so disappointed, you know. So just be careful what you wish for. Also here, know that if you don't do something soon, something else is going to explode on you, okay? It's just not going to happen. You're going to miss the opportunity. It's going to go right by you and it won't come back, you know? So make sure if there's things that you want to do that you're doing them now and don't hoard your money, you know? You have to be willing to spend money on yourself to get somewhere. You know, um, sometimes you have to, you know, buy some education. Maybe you have to, you know, um, think about buying a new car, something like that. And this could also be maybe your car is going to get wrecked or, you know, something like that as well. I'm going to pull one more card here for more clarification because it, yeah, yeah, something is not good. Okay, we've got death on there. So something's not good. I feel like there's going to be a little bit of a crash at the end of the week, okay? So it feels more not about a person, but more um, about a loss of something, a loss of a job, a loss of a car, loss of material something, wealth, whatever it is, okay? Um, just be careful there. That's what I want to say, all right? I think you're going to feel it. I think it's going to be hard. Okay. Um, yeah, that's, I hate ending the reading that way. You no. Know? Um, anyway, these are the spell casting oracle cards. And let's focus on some love. Okay. Some self love. And let's get something good for you to balance out your week. Okay. Because you've got that shit coming up. <laughs> Literally, it's not good. Okay, my dear. But, you know, we all prepare for the worst. And, you know, then when it happens, we can accept it and we can move through it. Right. So, yeah. So we have friendship. Okay. So let's see what friendship means here in this uh, with the spell casting oracles. You know, sometimes we need to be really kind to ourselves and we need to reach out to people right and sometimes we don't do that especially when bad things happen so maybe this is what it's all about right now this is a little kind of uh, prayer or mantra that you can say okay and it goes like gratefully i accept the magic of you of protection to assist in all that i do lend me the courage build power in me Assist my transcendence, so mote it be. I like that. So anyway, so friendship is meaning someone is trying to reach out. You've underestimated someone's loyalty. Let go and trust. Confide in somebody you can trust. And your soul partner has a rock. Okay. So I think it's beautiful. And I think, you know, that's going to add some really good to the crappy stuff that, you know, that's going to happen, right? I mean, you've got really good cards here, except for, you know, the end of the week where things just kind of fall apart. So yeah, just hang on tight, okay? It's going to be a little bit of a rocky road, but you're going to get through it. And just know that you are very strong. And that you have people in your life that you can turn to. Okay. And don't be afraid to do that. It's really important. Okay, Sagittarius. You don't have to be alone and lonely. And you don't have to be alone. And feel like you have to endure things all by yourself. Because you don't have to. Okay. So anyway. Thank you, Sagittarius. Uh, bright blessings, my dear. And we will uh, see you again soon. And um, now we are going to Capricorn. <clears throat> Hello, Capricorn. How are you guys? I hope you are all well. This is your reading for the week. I am doing things different this week. It was 
too, too much for me doing it the other way with the lives and with me not feeling very good. It just wasn't working right now. Okay, so I'm doing it this way. I've, I've, um, I've got a new spread that I'm working with and it seems to be working pretty good. So let's give it a shot and I hope you enjoy your reading. Okay, Capricorn? Thank you, my dear. Okay, so the first card is about work. So this is the Ten of Cups, okay? Then we have Love. So we've got the Queen of Cups reverse. Then we have the Unexpected, which is the Seven of Coins. Then we have kind of what we need to be doing. So this is the Five of Swords reverse. And the Outcome, which is the Eight of Swords reversed. okay? So we're going to talk about this, and then we're going to clarify, okay? Just so you know what's going on. So in work, we have the Ten of Cups. So I feel like work is really good. I feel like work is comfortable. I feel like you like your work. Your work is good, you know? I mean, it might not be your cup of tea totally, but I feel like you manage work very, very well. It's just something you know well, something you do well. You know, if you haven't started work, if you're just starting a new job, know that it's all going to come to play, okay? It's all going to build on itself and it's going to be very, very comfortable. I, <clears throat> I feel like all you Capricorns are going to do very, very well at work this week. Okay, work is going to be a good thing. And then love. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat. So we have the Queen of Cups reverse. So love is really kind of uh, really good. Um, I feel like you need to love yourself first, and then you can give love to other people, okay? With the Queen of Cups reverse, I just feel you're not, you're not taking yourself serious enough, okay? You're not showing love to yourself. You're not nurturing yourself. You need to do these things. Some of the things you say to yourself, you wouldn't say to your best friend, you know? You wouldn't say to your worst enemy let alone your best friend, right? So be kinder and be more gentle with yourself. And we're going to clarify that after and see where your love life is actually going to end But this week. But so far, you need to take care of you. And that's really important. And maybe you need to show your loved ones how much you love them, okay? That could be something that you need to be working on as well. <clears throat> and then we have... The unexpected. So we have the seven of coins. So I feel like you're, there's going to be prosperity here, okay? Something is coming, which is really, really good. And you're not expecting it at all. So a little windfall, or it's going to be like an unexpected bonus, or, you know, a, a raise, or something like that. Something that you've been hoping for is going to happen, okay? For some years, another is just going to be very unexpected and just going to happen, okay? But it's very much about prosperity. So it's very good. Um, <clears throat> also, we've got the Five of Swords. So this is what you should be doing, okay? So the Five of Swords reversed is all about, you know, when it's the right way around, when it's the other way around, it's all about, you know, um, uh, you know, having a conflict with someone and not getting along and stuff like that. But when it's reversed, it's more about not speaking your mind, okay? Afraid to start a conflict, okay? Afraid to start something happening. So I do think you need to take that risk. And I do think you need to speak your mind. And I do think you need to trust yourself, okay? You know what you need. Nobody knows what you need more than you know. So trust in what you know and go after what you need, okay? And don't be afraid to tell people, you know, um, you don't have to hide that. All right. And then we have the eight of swords reversed as the outcome. So I feel like you, you kind of feel kind of stuck. Okay. So in the areas of your life, I feel like right now you're feeling a little stuck, but it's not as bad as it could be. Okay. If you let this continue, it could get a lot worse. Okay. So whatever it is that you need to say, make sure you're staying it saying it so you don't get the stuck feeling all right and when it comes to love and loving yourself you can also get yourself in a rut that way so make sure that you're not doing that as well okay 
And now we're going to clarify this reading. <clears throat> so when it comes to work, we have the Ten of Cups, and then we have Temperance, okay? So <clears throat> everything is going very, very well. Pat yourself on the back. Give yourself some praise, all right? And be patient. Things are going really, really good. And not every day. And that's okay. You know, you're going to have little hiccups here and there. But I think overall this week, things are going to be really, really good when it comes to work. Okay. And then love here. So I said you needed some self-love. So let's see what else is here. Okay. You need to believe in yourself. Okay. We've got the strike card. So I really believe that you need to believe in yourself. You need to believe that you deserve to be loved. And that you deserve to have love in your life, okay? You are strong. A lot of things that you may have done were because you needed that. Because you were standing up for someone that you loved, okay? You are very much a nurturer. And <clears throat> that's fine, but you need to nurture you as well. And that's what you need to be learning right now. So nurture you and work towards that for you, okay? <clears throat> and that is everlasting. So the more you work on loving yourself, the more everlasting that is. And you, you don't have to work so hard after a while. It just comes naturally, okay? So, yeah. So I think it's really, really good. Know your strengths. Believe your strengths. And go deep inside yourself. And just trust yourself. And give yourself a pat on the back, you know? And then the unexpected, we had the seven of coins, which was prosperity. And that's with the eight of wands. And I do feel this is really, really good, okay? Things are coming a lot faster for you. Things moving forward. Work is fantastic. I feel like something with abundance is going to happen at work. It's really good, okay? And this is this column here or this pile here, which is everything turning out really, really well the way you need it to and having patience, okay? And you're going to be rewarded for that. And then we're going to see this conflict here <clears throat> or fear of this conflict, okay? So we have the high priest. So, you know, some decks is the Hierophant, whatever you want to, you know, they're different decks, right? But anyway, this is all about a mentor, a teacher, you know, listening to somebody, some kind of um, maybe group. You know, so if you belong to some kind of group or you want to start working towards that, you know, like I really think it's important that you sign up for things, you do things, you, you know, you're not afraid to be out there with other people and making a difference. You know, I do believe that that would be very, very good for you, Capricorn. And I just believe that, you know, you know, even though you may, you know, you may have issues with, you know, showing who you are and stuff like that. I think it's great. You're very smart. You need to just go out there and show yourself what you're made out of, right? And allow yourself to do different things. So the overcome, the overcome, the outcome card here, the eight of swords reversed. Let's see what the next card is. It's the seven of swords. So the outcome talks about, basically, it's about not trusting yourself. It's not trusting other people. It's like making yourself feel stuck in a corner because you won't trust anybody to help you get out of it. Or you won't trust yourself, right? You're always afraid somebody is going to be trying to take advantage of you. That might be the case. But if you live that way, like someone's always trying to take advantage of you, you're never going to get anywhere, you know? So you need to let that go a little bit and start taking some risks so you can get ahead. And you know what? If the worst case happens, you will deal with it. You are strong, remember? You're very, very strong. So go ahead and take those chances, you know? I mean, make them calculated risks, but yeah, take some risks, okay? Not everybody is going to take advantage of you. And I think you'll be able to spot them if you trust your intuition, okay? So really, really listen to that. So these are um, these are spellcasting oracle cards. 
And um, we're going to do just a little reading out of it. Pull your card just to wind up the reading, okay? A little bit of self-love, a little bit of everything, right? Manifestation. So we have manifestation here. So that's really nice. So let's see what the book says on it. <clears throat> so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to read you this little mantra or this little prayer or spell, whatever, however you want to use it, go ahead. It goes like this. Gratefully, I accept the magic of you, of protection to assist in all that I do. Lend me the courage, the power in me. Assist my transcendence, so mote it be. I really like that. Okay, so manifestation. Be careful for what you wish for, okay? So that makes perfect sense, right? Be careful for what you wish for. Focus only on a positive outcome. So here is the outcome here, which is quite negative. So change it around, focus on positive. Your goals are coming into being. So this is what you weren't expecting, right? So this is, you know, abundance coming, right? A wonderful surprise awaits. Again, that's a wonderful surprise. Have patience. Your needs are always met. So trust the universe. The universe always provides. Um, sometimes not in our time, but, you know, sometimes we want it sooner. Um, but it does provide, okay? So, yeah. So. Um, just trust that process and yeah, and move forward, okay? So thank you, guys. Okay, so moving ahead, we are going to read for Aquarius. Hello, Aquarius. How are you guys? I hope you're all well. I am doing things a little bit different, okay? Um, I just could not do the other right now with all the 12 videos uh, for each sign. So I'm doing it in one. Um, and I did a different layout, okay? Um, we're going to try this and see how this works for me. Hopefully it works a little bit better than the other one did, especially with my throat the way it is. And things just, you know, the way they are right now, okay? So I hope you enjoy your reading. Um, in, um, and we'll see, right? <laughs> um, so we're going to clarify after this, uh, after this spread, after I put down this spread, we're going to clarify it all. So don't worry, okay? So first card is work. So you've got the four of coins reversed. Then we have love. You have the page of coins. Then we have the unexpected, the three of cups reversed. Then we have, you know, kind of what you need to do, what you need to work on, what you need to trust within yourself. We got the high priestess and the outcome, we have the sun reversed. So we're going to talk about these and then we're going to clarify. Okay. So with, when it comes to work, we've got the four coins reversed. So I just feel like you don't feel you're rewarded for your work. Okay. So you're not feeling like you are rewarded. So sometimes you feel like, why are you working or you know, you need to be doing something else and you're, you're, you know, this, this whole kind of feeling like everything's not good enough. Like you're not good enough. Work's not good enough. You're not being paid enough. So all this negativity, right? You want to turn that around, bring it into a positive. I have a job, you know, I make money to support myself. Um, maybe I need more, but I can learn and I can grow and I can make more money. I can change my job. You know what I mean? So try to keep things in a positive light, okay? And then as far as your love life goes, um, and this is everything. So this is not just romantic, but it's also, you know, friends and family, okay? So we've got the page of coins here, okay? So I feel like um, you want love. You, you want love to work out for you very much so. You're willing to put in what it takes. But I feel like... Um, you're not really trusting the process, okay? So even if you're with somebody, I feel like you're just going along in life and you're not working on the love. You know what I mean? So you also need to feed that love. You need to work on it, okay? When we clarify, we'll get more out of that, right? 
And then the Three of Cups reversed um, for the unknown. I believe there's celebrations coming, okay? You don't know about these yet, and that's why that's reversed. But there is a celebration coming. It could be a wedding. It could be the birth of a baby or, you know, a pregnancy. Um, it could also be a celebration, you know, of a job advancement, a retirement, anything like that, okay? But you need to get out, have some fun, enjoy yourself, let your hair down, you know? You need to be with your buddies or your girlfriends or whatever, right? Really important, all right? So Aquarius, make sure that you are allowing yourself to do that. You're going to get a surprise invitation. And I think that's what it all what it's all about. And you will be able to get out there and have fun. Um, so also what you need to be doing uh, this week uh, for the end of the week is trust in your intuition, especially this weekend. OK, I feel like it's really important that you listen to your intuition. You don't let things overwhelm you and you really kind of guide yourself. All right. So trust what you believe. Go deep inside and, you know, listen for your messages, okay? Listen to the, your gut and feel what you need to feel. I feel you're going to do really, really well, all right? You just need to trust it. That's all you need to do. Just listen. If you can't hear it, go for a walk, you know, concentrate on what you see in front of you, all that kind of stuff. Get everything out of your mind, all right? Just concentrate on what you see in front of you. And then when you get back, just kind of, you know, take a few deep breaths, think about what you need to think about, your answers will come, okay? So we have the outcome here, we've got the sun reversed. So you're so close to making it, okay? So yeah, everything is just so close. It's really, really good. So the outcome's really, really good. The sun to me is the best card in the deck. And even though it's reversed, it just means you're not quite there. You're on your way, you're on the right path, you're doing the right thing, okay? So that looks very, very good. So now we're going to clarify this. So yeah, so let's see here what we see. Let's see here what we see. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> okay, so for work, we have the nine of swords, okay? So reverse. So stress, okay? So I do see some stress. Not as bad as it was by the end of the week. It's going to alleviate a little bit. And again, once you trust yourself more, that stress is going to alleviate. OK, so make sure you're working on, you know, your intuition for work. Make sure you're concentrating that for work as well as the rest of your life. OK, and I feel like that will help you alleviate some stress. Try to find different ways to find some sleep. Make sure that you're maybe meditating, you know, journaling, something like that to get everything out. And then you can probably sleep better. So love life, page of coins, and then we have the seven of wands reversed. So that's good. Um, because it's reversed, I feel like you're in the you're going in the right direction. Okay. So not so much contemplating what you want, but knowing what order you're gonna you need to receive. Okay. So what do you need from, say, your partner if you have a partner? What do you need from your kids? What do you need from your parents? What do you need from your friends? OK, you want to prioritize those things and prioritize them in importance. OK, for you. And what do you need from yourself to love yourself? So don't forget that self part. OK, and I feel once you do that, you're going to be on your way and you're not going to have this kind of confused kind of feelings about it or confused kind of focus, okay? Your focus is going to be clear and you're going to be able to move ahead in a forward direction, okay? And then the unexpected here with the celebrations that I saw, we also get the seven of cups reversed. So once this happens, it's going to be, you're going to be a little surprised. It's going to be, um, you know, like, okay, what do I do, right? All these things are going to go through your mind, but I think you're going to come up with a solution quite quickly. I think you're going to be able to figure out what you want to do and the order in which you want to do it. Okay. Stay true to yourself. Okay. Once you make up your mind, stay true. So if you decide you're going to go to this celebration, go. 
don't let other people influence you so much, okay? Make sure you're taking care of yourself in that and make sure you're doing what you need to do to stay strong and true to yourself, all right? Then we have the high priestess here. So we're, and this is kind of what you need to be working on, okay? And we've got the eight of cups, okay? So I really feel you need to trust your intuition. You need to look at the relationships in your life, okay? All of them. Look at them all and ask yourself, who is not serving you? Who in your life is not supportive? Who in your life is not helping? You know, like, is their presence, um, are they mean? Are they, are they um, jealous? Are they putting you down? You know, who are these people in your life? And do you need them in your life? Sometimes we need to clean house a little bit, you know, whether it's friends, family, whoever it is, right? Sometimes we need to clean house. And if you're in an abusive relationship, rela uh, relationship, you want to consider trying to get help to get out of that, okay? So don't be afraid to ask somebody, talk to somebody, okay? And really work on getting some help to get out of that situation, all right? It's not good. All right. So I just feel you need to be leaving some people behind. Maybe it's one person. Maybe you're just putting them at arm's length, you know, and maybe some people you have to walk right away from. OK, don't be afraid to do that. Again, trust your intuition and the outcome. So we got the sun reversed and then the two of swords. So that is a hard decision, right? So the two of swords is all about making these tough decisions. Well, it makes sense if you're. If you're having to put people out of your life or at arm's length, right? How are you going to do it? What are you going to do? All that kind of stuff comes into play, right? And again, too, with work, you know, you've got, you know, some stress at work and stuff like that. Get things in, get things straightened out, okay? And then with the, when this decision, this crossroads comes up, you're going to know what to do, all right? Trust yourself and you will know what to do. And you know what? It might be hard, but you can do it. And I believe you will be happier and you will be better for it. Oh, yes. So now we're going to use the spell casting oracle cards. And this is just going to kind of sum up the whole thing. So a self-love message, you know, um, just kind of round out the reading, right? So let's see what this self Good love messages all about here. Almost dropped the whole thing. Well, this is good luck. And it's a black cat. So, yeah. So, let's see what good luck says in here. I'm going to read um, a mantra or a little spell. Whatever. However you want to use this, okay? It says, gratefully, I accept the magic of you of protection to assist in all that you do. Lend me the courage, build power in me, assist my transcendence, so mote it be. So you can say that when you're doing something, okay? Casting a spell or praying or whatever. Okay, so good luck. There's a change for the better coming. Lucky energy surrounds you right now. Grab opportunities with both hands. And a black cat signals a lucrative win. Hmm, interesting. Black cat signals a lucrative win. Well, if you see a black cat somewhere, crosses your path, go buy a ticket. <laughs> you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I think that is, you know, something we just can't predict, right? So, yeah. But it would be nice if we could, that's for sure. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Anyway, that was your reading, Aquarius. Thank you very much for your time. And blessings, my dear. We will see you soon. Hi, Pisces. I'm here to do your weekly reading for you. I've changed the format. I've changed everything about it. Hopefully, this works better for me. Um, with not being feeling so well and you know, a whole lot of other things. I'm hoping that this works better. So, um, yeah, so let's just get this going. 
And yeah, so a new layout. Um, and then I'll clarify as well. Okay. So yeah, so let's just see how this works. So we've got career. So we've got the star reversed. Then we have love, which is the queen of pentacles. Then we have what you don't know. So unexpected is the lovers. And then what you need to be doing is the ten of wands. And the outcome is the knight of swords. Okay. This looks kind of interesting. Very, very good. Very interesting for sure. So we have the star reversed in the in the career column, work column, okay? So I just feel like, um, hmm, you know, it's, things are going well. So I feel like things are going well. You're hoping for more though, okay? So I do feel like you are hoping for more, that you're wishing things would go better, faster, um, but they will go, okay? Things are starting to flow um, if you have been here a long time, maybe you need to, you know, remember why you're there. Remember why you, why you loved your job or why you liked your job, you know, and make that flow again. You know, sometimes we need these reminders as to what we're doing, why we're doing it. You know, maybe your job pays well and that's why you do it, you know, and maybe you need to be grateful for that. So whatever it is, you need to increase that flow, okay? And then in love, we've got the Queen of Pentacles. So I really believe that you need to, you know, look at people in your life and really look at the practical ways that they impact your life with love, okay? So how does this person, let's say your sister or your kids or your partner or your friends or whoever it is, your mother, uh, your aunt, how do they impact your life with love? And look at all of those people in your life and try to think of how you can express your love to them and how you can feel deep in your heart that gratitude for that love, okay? And if the love isn't there, like say you didn't have a good relationship with your mother, I do believe this is a female. So, you know, if you didn't have a good relationship with your mother, say, you know, maybe what is the lesson you need to learn here? Okay. Maybe you, maybe you needed to learn, you know, how to be a good mother yourself because you didn't have it, you know, so you learn not what to do. Right. Or maybe you need to learn, maybe you needed to learn people suffer, right. And they make mistakes. So maybe that was your mom, you know, um, just different things that you don't expect that you could turn a bad situation into a positive opportunity, okay? So try to think of it that way, all right? So yeah. Um, now the unexpected, we've got the lovers, okay? So I really do believe that there is something good coming for you. Uh, a new love, um, if you're with somebody, a spark of love. So it's very, very good, okay? So look forward to that, Pisces. I think it's going to be a wonderful week for that, okay? Ten of Wands is what you need to be working on, what you need to be doing. And, you know, and I feel like you need to set a new goal because you're just about done one, right? You're completing a project. So you're almost complete. Something in your life is almost totally completed and you can move on to something else. And maybe it was just like a thought you had that was holding you back and you decided to let it go or a person or whatever, something was holding you back, you made a decision. Maybe this was a goal you had set and you reached it. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be physical goal or anything like that. It could be just in your mind, right? But celebrate your accomplishments, really important. And set your new journey, okay? I think it's important that you set your new journey and you set out on it, okay? And then the outcome, we've got the Knight of Swords. So again, you know, this is all about reaching your potential. It's all about, you know, charging ahead and getting what you need and, and you know, proclaiming that you are, you know, you are a winner and you are going to accomplish what you set out to accomplish. And you're very protective as well. So don't be afraid to show that and don't be afraid to be that, you know. You are who you are. You're very smart. You're very articulate. 
you know, just don't be a bully and do not be, you know, so stubborn that you're not um, allowing, you know, you have to listen, at least take in what other people say. You don't have to do what they say, but listen to it. Some people have really, really good experience and they can really enhance your life if you let them. Okay. So remember that. Don't be too cocky. I guess that's a better way. All right. So now to clarify. Okay. So we're going to clarify work. We've got the star reversed and then we've got the four cups reversed. So uh, you may not be making what you think you should be. Okay. You may not be making what you think you're worth. And that may be true. And maybe you should be thinking about moving on and getting a new job. Or maybe, you know, you need to add another job. You know, maybe you need to add a part-time gig, whatever it is, okay? If you don't feel like you're making enough money and you have to struggle and you're not doing well, do something to change it, okay? And if you are, if you're doing okay, make sure that you're putting away enough, okay? Don't be too frivolous. Um, it's okay to spend a little bit, but you don't want to go crazy, okay? Those things like that. And then with love, okay? So we've got the three of cups reversed. So it's really important you're celebrating this person in your life, okay? And I said I thought it was a woman, right? So whoever this is, you have to celebrate that. Celebrate the relationship, even if it's a bad one. You have to celebrate the lessons that you could learn or what it taught you about yourself or, you know, where it led you. You know, some sometimes these hard lessons and these people lead us to other people in our life that turn out so wonderful, you know? So, yeah, so just try to figure out what is the positive things that have come out of your relationships? And I think that's going to help you in a big way, okay? And then the unknown here, we've got the lovers, so new love coming for you. And then we've got the sun reversed, okay? So the sun to me is the best card in the deck. Now it's reversed, so it's not quite there. So it's not going to be a perfect relationship, right? It's not going to be all sunshine and roses. It is going to be work, but it is going to be so worth it, you know, and the people that are in relationships now work on your relationship, trust your relationship. OK, now I'm not saying stay in a bad relationship. If it's a bad relationship, get out because this means that there's a good one coming. OK, do not stay in a bad relationship. You know, um, nobody deserves that. All right. Including you, you know, as much as you might not like yourself. You don't deserve it. Okay. So there you go, my dear. All right. So next we have what another other things you should be doing. The Ten of Wands is the journey. You know, you need to be taking a new journey now. And we've got the page of coins. Okay. So there's going to be a message coming for you. And I believe this is going to give you uh, um, kind of a starting point. Okay. So maybe somebody will offer you an opportunity to go somewhere or you're going to get a message from a friend who has gone to Paris and you're going to decide, maybe I want to take a, a European uh, 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 um, uh, travel in Europe as well. And so you you decide to do something like that, right? Maybe uh, Maybe you heard of somebody who's got a new job at this new place that is opening. Maybe you're going to go and apply. You know what I mean? Don't don't uh, hinder your thoughts or your ideas or anything like that. Be open to whatever comes to you. But you're going to get a message and it's going to spark some some ideas in you and some, you know, desires in you and allow that to happen. OK, I think it's very, very cool. It's awesome. OK, and then the outcome, you have the Knight of Swords and we have the High Priestess. So this is very, very good, right? So trust your intuition, trust yourself, do what you need to do, right? But listen to your gut. You know, I think nine times out of 10, you know, um, if you listen to your gut, you're not going to go wrong, okay? You have to make cal calculated risks. You have to use your head with it too. But listen to your gut, okay? Pay attention to what your gut is trying to tell you. Then make a cal calculated um Risk, okay. Calculated, mm, not guess, 
Is that a calculated opinion? No. Uh, make a calculated. Please, I can't think of the word. Option. <laughs> decision. That's it. A calculated decision. Wow, that took a lot. Jeez. Okay, so these are spell casting oracle cards. We're going to round out the reading with these, okay? So here we go. <clears throat> compassion. So this is compassion, okay? So there is the card there, and I'm going to read out of the book what it is. <clears throat> I also want to say that there's a mantra here that I'm going to read for you as well, and it is really good, okay? Um, and you can use it in many areas, whether you're spell casting or whether you're, you know, whether you're just going to pray or whether it's just a mantra that you say, right? So it goes like this. Gratefully, I accept the magic of you of protection to assist in all that I do. Lend me the courage, build power in me. Assist my, transcend my transcendence, so mote it be. So compassion, it's safe to open up to others. An emotional upheaval is healed. See another's point of view, honor your feelings. Someone needs your support. And there are lessons to learn. There certainly are. Every day we have so many lessons to learn. I like that card. That's really good. And like I said, you need to be compassionate with yourself, right? Self-love is so important, you know, and you do have to practice compassion. And if you don't, you know, I mean, it just makes it harder for you, right? Um, we do need to be compassionate and kind to ourselves. You know, that's, you know, that's part of being human is allowing yourself to make mistakes and being compassionate with yourself and, you know, and know that, uh, that that's okay. So anyway, I am going to say thank you and I am going to say bright blessings and we will see you again soon. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Okay, so yeah. So let me just see here. Hmm. Okay, so sorry guys. There we go. Okay, so again, this is Donna. <clears throat> there we go. So thank you for being here with me. And I hope you enjoyed this new format. Um, moving forward, I'm going to try this and see how it works. Um, like I said, I hope you enjoy it. Um, yeah. And um, continue to do all the lives and everything that I do as well. Okay. I'm going to try to add some more lives in. Um, yeah. So we will see how it goes. Okay, guys. I love you guys. Thank you very much for being here with me. If, uh, if you haven't been here before, I'm glad you're here. And if you have, I'm glad you're here as well. You know, you guys are everything, right? I wouldn't have this channel without you. So I love you guys. Take care and see you soon. Bye for now.